back everybody, Bernie Griller. Today I'm going to show you something I've been working on for a while. Not really sure what you call it, trash can nachos, nacho tower, I'm calling them barrel house nachos. I've got a chimney starter, I went ahead and removed the middle out of it, it's brand new, I've only used it for cooking, I haven't put anything else in it, washed it real good. Um, you could use like a number 10 can, but the new ones have that spray in goop basically to keep your food away from the metal and when that gets hot it's going to burn off and it can make you sick. So we're going with something I know that should be food safe. So I've got a perforated pizza pan here so your smoke, your heat can get through it. We're going to layer this thing up. Get some corn chips. Tortilla chips I mean. Get a nice layer on the bottom to build off with. You want these to be kind of level. We're gonna go shredded cheese first. A nice handful in there. Grab up some onion, a little tomato. Oh, yes, sorry. Black olives. Got some leftover brisket. You can use pulled pork, anything, you know. This is a great recipe for when you've got your barrel already fired up, like you just get done with some ribs, you got another 45 minutes, hour or two left of charcoal, you don't want it to go to waste. This is awesome for like football games, stuff like that. Let's go ahead and throw another layer of chips in here. Yeah. Got two different kinds of nacho cheese. I've got white and yellow. Let's get this going. Now you can put jalapenos, all the other stuff in it. The kids will be eating with us tonight. They don't like the spice. You know, pretty much anything and everything is fair game and nachos in my opinion. And we'll throw in some cheddar. That is going to be amazing. I'll see you guys out in the smoker. All right, this thing's rolling good and hot. All we got to do now is put the lid on it, let it sit for about 30 minutes. Like I said, just till the cheese is melted through. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, it's been right about half an hour, maybe 40 minutes. Cheese is all nice and melty. We've got a spatula here. I'm going to kind of run this around the edges. Just try to get everything released. Ta-da! Barrel can nachos. You've got meat, cheese, veggies, everything. All the way through it. Perfectly cooked. Mm. Believe it or not, the chips actually take on quite a bit of flavor from the charcoal, even with it just being a shorter cook like that. Let's get in here. I need a bigger pan. I had a nacho avalanche. I've got some homemade guacamole, some sour cream and stuff I'm going to throw on top of this and serve it up. See you guys next time. Beer Griller.